Hey guys, uh, first of all, before you start commenting, um, yes, I got a haircut, uh, it is back to being short again, um, I'm hoping that it stays like that for a long time, <laughs> hoping, <laughs> and also, yes, I got a new, uh, desk, or by the looks of it, it well, because my computer used to be back there, but I moved it to this new desk that I have right now. Um, and I really like it. Uh, the one over there, it was very short, and um, it, w it wasn't very good, but um, yeah, I got a new got a new desk, a uh, new way to make these kind of videos. And I know, again, you're, get you're probably getting sick of, make of me making these videos, but in my opinion, they're honestly... They're, they're kind of fun because it helps me vent out um, a little bit, and it's, it's kind of just my way in vlogging nowadays. But, um, let's just get to the subject. Little siblings. First of all, let's just say that I was more or less known as one. I was... <laughs> And that, that was the only thing that I've ever been known as, is a little sibling. Now, here's the thing. It's not that I hate being a little sibling. It's just I never got to experience the life of being a bigger one. And the reason, well, first of all, the reason why is because my parents, they, they didn't want to get an, a fourth child because that's ridiculous. And also, it's just... I don't know, I, I just never got to live that kind of life. And I see a lot of um, older kids, they complain about their, their younger sister or younger uh, brother or something like that. And the thing is, whenever, I, whenever they tell me, I'm always telling them that they should be grateful for what they have because they don't really get the life of what it feels like to be known as the smallest one in the family. And just being the smallest one in a family, it's it makes you feel like that you're you're known as the weakest one, the one who has to be taught everything, that you don't know anything compared to your older sibling. And it, it's yeah, it's hard on in in some ways of being a little sibling and whatnot. But you know, it's it's not all bad. I mean, you you get treated as the last baby of the family, and you get treated, uh, apparently, the most spoiled, which I beg to differ. I was never spoiled as a kid. <laughs> I was treated just as much as my brother and sister were. So, yeah. So, having a little sibling, um, it's... I know it may sound like it's a bug that you have this child that you have to take care of yourself and you are now known as the big, bigger one. And everybody hates the fact that whenever they get a little sibling, like they always have to be responsible for it. And the thing is, that's a good thing. I mean, a lot of people can't see that, but it's a good thing that they're, you know, being responsible because... You got you get to live, or you you pretty much get to learn how to be responsible in life and how it feels like having to grow up with um, with a kid who is trying to grow up as much as you are, and that child that you have is it's looking upon you, thinking that you are its guider. And it wa it wants you to help it, and a lot of a lot of kids don't see that. A lot of kids see the fact that little siblings are more or less annoying. And yeah, sure they can be. I mean, trust me, I I know a lot of little kids who can be annoying. Um, but you know that's just the way they are. They're kids, and let's face it, they're around their age. They're they're stupid you know that's that's just the way kids are when they're small their brains haven't fully developed yet um their muscles haven't grown you know it's it's just the way they are and 
you can't do anything about it. You can't change the way they are whenever they argue. You just kind of have to accept the fact that if they want something and they cry over it or they get annoyed at the fact that you're doing something, then, you know, you just got to accept the fact that, like, they're kids. What are you going to do? Um, but, and also, I get the fact that you argue with your siblings. Um, I mean, hell, I argue with my older siblings all the time, um, especially my older brother. And, of course, we don't get along a lot uh, because of it. But, you know, the thing is, older siblings, they got to realize that we're just kids. The little siblings are just kids, and they they more or less just want someone to, you know, be with them. And it's hard to explain, but if you're an older sibling, you got to realize what you have. Although your little sibling may be, you know weak or may not know as much as you do you got to know that these kids you can't do anything about it you just got to let them grow up and once they do grow up and they become as smart as however you were then you know that's when you know that they're smart enough to be taking care of them taking care of themselves It's just the fact that so many kids, they're not very grateful for what they have when it comes to siblings. And um, I'm just here thinking that I want one. <laughs> I want a little sibling. I don't care what a, what gender it is, whether it's a boy or a girl. I don't care. I would love to have a little sibling because I never got to live how, how to help a kid um, in need. I... How it's ironic though is that a lot of my family members they have they have babies and um, they always need a babysitter and usually one of their first few choices would have to be me <laughs> because believe it or not I'm great with kids a lot of kids love me um, I don't know why we, maybe it's just because I'm I'm silly or uh, I'm very playful or maybe it's just the fact that I'm very childish in general. But um, I love babysitting because it, it makes me feel like it's my alternative to having, you know, a, a small child with me. And whenever I am babysitting, I usually um, like to take care of the kids, you know, alone because I get to have that bond with them. I get to, you know, I, I get to just spend my own time with the with the little baby and I, just, I I love being with them it's just like I, I never got to having a small younger sibling though that I could you know teach myself but you know not everybody lives that life and you can't regret the fact that you are living a life that um, you wish you had somebody else's but, you know, that's just the way it is. So, yeah. That's kind of the only reason why I made this video. I, I kind of, this is more or less just a rant on video because I thought it would have been a good subject for some people who have little siblings. Uh, if you do have a little sibling, be grateful for wh however they are. Whether they're annoying, stupid, or, you know, just flat out weird be grateful for them because you know you're living a life where you can be responsible for something people who don't get to live that life we we have to teach ourselves how to be responsible we have to learn our own way instead of someone helping you know anyway that's about it uh Thank you for watching. Um, I promise I will be back with new videos, uh, especially the Nanny Seventeen Two movie. That will be, you know, that will come out eventually because uh, I got this new haircut and I got to reshoot in film. Um, and you probably know who you are if you're watching this. Uh, you got to help me with the film. So, yeah, uh, that's about it. 
Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.